We use four main types of scissors in the Fashion Lab. The first are embroidery scissors, used for cutting small things or for clipping curves or making clips into fabric. The second are paper scissors, used for paper only. The third are fabric scissors. These black handled scissors are great for light to medium weight fabrics and they should be kept with you at your machine at all times for cutting threads. And the last, the silver scissors, which have a black cover on them to keep them sharp. Make sure when you're finished with it, you return the cover. And they are used for medium to heavyweight fabrics. We use weights to hold down patterns. Use as many as you need. We use tailoring chalk when we're tracing patterns. So you'll draw along the outside of the pattern onto the wrong side of the fabric using whatever color shows up on your fabric. The serger is used to finish the edges of fabric. It straightens it and makes it look good and protects it. You will also need to use scissors. We have these pink scissors in the can for cutting the tails after you serge. And sometimes you'll need to use the tweezers to get the tails out from underneath the foot. Make sure the pink scissors and the tweezers go back in the can when you're finished. The most important piece of equipment we use when sewing is the sewing machine and that sews fabrics together. We use a spool of thread to thread the upper machine and a bobbin of thread to thread the lower machine. When you're sewing samples, you don't need to match the color, but when you're sewing your project, you're going to take an empty bobbin and wind it with your thread so that the colors match. Sometimes you'll need to change the foot. A clear foot is for zigzag sewing or sewing when you need to see a little bit better. A walking foot is used for difficult fabrics, fabrics that are thick, stretchy, slippery, Using a walking foot will take the fight out of the fabric. Sometimes you'll need to replace the needle. It may break or you may need to use a different needle. You'll find these um, in this plastic box on the middle of the cart. The first row are universal needles and those are used for most basic sewing, usually with woven fabrics. The second row contains jersey or ballpoint needles and those are used for stretchy or knit fabrics. Remember flat to the back when you're replacing a needle. You may need to use the screwdriver. If you break the golden rule and sew with the foot up, your threads will get tangled and to untangle them you'll need the screwdriver. We use pins for pinning fabric together before you sew and make sure you remove them before you get to them when you're sewing. You usually do not want to sew over pin because it may break and come flying at your face. We use safety pins often to connect to fabric. For example, for this drawstring, if I want to pull it through, I need to attach it, put it in, put it out, grab at least a centimeter of fabric, close it, and I always have the closed end leading it if you have the open end leading it, it may open and stick in your fingers. So this is a safer way to use a safety pin. And we often use it for pulling elastic as well. Sometimes we use the pointer when sewing, especially if you want to poke out corners to get them at a nice 90 degree angle. We use hand sewing needles. Whenever you can't sew by machine, sometimes you need to hand sew an opening closed. And lastly, we use the seam ripper. Even experienced sewers make mistakes, and to take the stitches out, you need a seam ripper. The steamer is the most important piece of equipment we use when pressing. It's always set to medium heat and medium steam, so the two circles should be at the top. If you bump it accidentally, make sure those two circles are at the top. To use it, You'll have your fabric on the ironing board, put it down and press the button. You'll get a real blast of steam, so you don't want your fingers near the steamer when you're applying the steam. 
You also don't want to leave this on the, the ironing board cover for any length of time because it's going to burn it. It's also not safe to leave it up like this. It's too wobbly and it might burn someone. You also never want to press the steamer when it's up like this. You'll get a blast of steam that may burn someone. When you're finished with it, the safest thing to do is put it back on the perch so that it won't fall and no one gets burned. You'll use a tailoring ham to press curves. Normally big curves are pressed on this. You'll use the seam roll to press small curves or long seams. The sleeve board is for pressing small things and especially circles like the hem of your pants or the hem of a sleeve. The point presser is useful for pressing small things and sometimes awkward things like the collar of a shirt. You can even use the pointer to press small things. It can come in handy sometimes. And for sure you'll want to use the seam gauge as a measuring tool so that if you're measuring a hem for example and you want it two centimeters all the way around it will be evenly pressed.